for the uh, Hockey Helps the Homeless Tournament. Mike Yanni's there this morning. That's right, and the gals are already out on the ice. This is only one rink. There are four rinks here, and games are being played on all four throughout the day, so things are definitely heating up here. Uh, there are people in the stands now, and of course, we have some of the sponsors standing by. Uh, Chris and Kent joining us this morning with uh, Freedom 55 and Vermillion Energy. And you guys have been taking part uh, for a number of years as not only players, but sponsors. What, why do you guys, obviously, it's a big deal to be a sponsor, and, and this, couldn't, this event couldn't happen without the sponsors. Yeah, we think it's important at Freedom 55 to build and maintain relationships. And I think that's the same thing that uh, Hockey Helps the Homeless is doing. And they're helping four great organizations this, this year as well as years past. So we're happy to participate across the country. It's a win-win. I mean, you guys have a lot of fun out there, but it's also good for a lot of those local charities. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a great time for our employees to get together and team build and those things as well. But. Uh, more, most important thing is the charities, and what's nice about this uh, tournament is all the money stays in Calgary, and um, that's huge at Vermillion is supporting the communities we live and work in. So. The team building, though, is important as well, and I'm sure there's, there's some fun stories, especially playing with some of the alumni. Uh, you, you played with a number of different players. Uh, any, any interesting stories in the past or some things that stand out from your years on the ice with the alum? Well, it's fun to get out there and play with guys that you watched growing up. I mean, Fleury was a hero of mine growing up, and then I get to play with him today, and I've played with him in the past. And it's always fun hearing what he has to say in the dressing room and on the bench to get the guys motivated. So it's fun, yeah. And apparently a lot of the lumber kind of laid back, but you said Fleury actually is <laughs> go, go. Into, he likes to get into it. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Any highlights from your last four years? Sorry, Any highlights? highlights? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we played with uh, Dennis Polnick, who was uh, a good character in the room. I mean, they, these guys really put the time in, and they're, they're not just here to show up. They, they really want to get to know us and get to know about our companies. So it's nice to, to get to meet those guys and play a little bit with them. And it really is a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and that's what it's all about, experiences here. And, of course, the money that's being raised. This is the eighth year, uh, and after this year, they expect there'll be over $800,000 raised for charities in local communities. So Whoa, it a is a big timber. deal, a lot of fun. Ooh. And uh, you know what? Anyone can come down here and take part, uh, not take part in the games, but you can watch the games. Cool. You can see the alumni play. Wow, awesome. That horn blast was Dave Will, by the way, <laughs> getting ready for the big uh, CFL West final on Sunday. Yeah, he has that.